Hi Lara, how are you? Hello. What is the most important thing that travel can do for a person? Well, in wine we share a lot of things like the Vitis vinifera, like we have rain and other weather problems and now we have climate change. And so I like to travel so I can talk to other producers and figure out how they've solved the problem of water, of studying the soil, of work in the winery so that we can collaborate and uh, learn from other people's mistakes and also from other people's successes. What is your favorite thing to do when you're in London? Well, I have many favorite things to do in London. I love the museums, but my most favorite thing is to go on the red bus and I go up to the top and to the back window and then I film the happenings in all the different neighborhoods and my Instagram followers really, really love these posts. Wine is in your DNA, but when and how did you know it was going to be your career? Well, I first fell in love with wine as a drinker. I studied medicine, so I thought I would spend my life curing patients and drinking my family's wine. But then I went to a wine event that uh, we were invited to in the mid-90s when, you know, Argentina was completely unknown. And my father said, he said, Laurita, you should go because you're the only person in the family who speaks English well. Although I think that people like, uh, per people with accents sell a lot more wine than people who speak English well. But anyhow, so I went to this event and uh, you know, nobody knew Argentinian wine. They were walking by my booth, paying no attention to me. And I called my father the next day and I said, Papa, I need to come help you with the wines because your fantasy of, you know, making an Argentine wine that could stand with the best of the world is just a dream. And I went into wine because I wanted to make my father's dream come true. That's why. Describe yourself in one word. Energetic. Describe Catena in one word. Family. And lastly, describe Malbec in one word. Luxurious. You're a very busy person. What is your best advice to stay sane? Well, it's very, very simple. Accept imperfection. <laughs> Excuse me. did you get from your dad, the famous Nicolas Catena Zapata? Okay, well, the trait I most admire in my father and that I hope I got is caring about people. My father cares about everything that's happening with the people who work at the winery, from their families to their health, and he really always shows deep respect and listens attentively to uh, everything that people say to, to him at meetings about our wines. And I really think that this uh, sense of family is what has helped us make such great wines in Argentina. So, thank you, Papa. How many books have you written? I've written three books, tres. And finally, what is your advice for anyone starting in the wine industry? Well, it's very simple. Drink, taste as much wine as you can. If you go to a restaurant, talk to the sommelier. Have them talk about wine when you go to a wine store. Talk to the people working there. So it's all about quantity and from as many places as you can. Bye bye.